Hi everyone, welcome back to Isle 2 Great Battles. Here we are, back with Camp Gusvada number 100. We're here with the career of Josef Meyer, and today we have got a, another bombing mission to go on. We're here with the Heinkel HE 111, of course. So we'll be taking off and going to bomb an enemy rail junction. Uh, Sven Schult will be our flight lead. Sven Weber will be wingman one. Klaus Haas will be wingman two. Josef Meyer ourselves will be three. Klaus Lang will be wingman four. And Hans von Lendroff will be uh, wingman five. It's the 27th of August, 1942. Takeoff time, 22.50. We've got a night bombing mission. Ooh, this is something different. Um, weather is clear. Fog. I'm not sure what clear fog is. Fog tends to be unclear, but <laughs> we'll go with it. I'm not quite sure. It's fine. Um, target approach is going to be 1,500 metres. Airfield altitude will be 84 metres. Estimated target altitude will be 50 metres. Might be worth remembering for the bomb run. Um, atmosphere conditions, temperature is 18 degrees C. So it's nice and warm. Primary objective, good evening, airmen. Your target for tonight is the enemy rail yard marked as waypoint 3 on your flight map. The flight will take off one by one when the green flare signal is given for each plane. After takeoff, you are on your own, so proceed to the target alone. Other planes will follow their own routes. Your mission will be complete once you have dropped your bombs from the target. Well, this is weird. So we are going flying solo. We're almost like a bomber stream. We're not going to be in a formation as such. It's just going to be a nighttime bomber stream to the target, which means the bombing should be on my queue, not the lead flight queue this time. So uh, no pressure. No pressure. I can't blame somebody else if it all goes horribly wrong. Having a look at the Heinkel. We are having um, a 500-pounder and uh, 250, four 250-pounders um, strapped to the... Uh, well, the 500-pounders strapped under the side. The 250s are in the, uh, the bomb bay there. Cool. All right, then. Let's uh, head to the aircraft and, uh, <laughs> with a little bit of nerves now, uh, get going. Right, here we are, waiting. A couple of flights have already gone. But here we are, waiting for this one to go, waiting for the green flare. We've got these very high-powered spotlights behind us, which are causing the glare in the... Uh... I can't see it, I can't see it, but... Um... There we go, come to the, uh, the top gunner, you can see the two spotlights on the runway. Right, has he just been... that one's just been given clearance. Right, there's the green flare, he's away. Us is next. Let's get a bit of flap in then. I've got about 35% flap for takeoff. I mean, glare is a nightmare, isn't it? There he goes, off into the distance. Right. Let's lock the tailwheel. Hang on, lock the tailwheel, that was, I'll dab the brakes, in fact. Right, ready when we're given the command. There goes the green flare. Let's feed in the power. Here we go. Pulling hard to the hard to the right there. Oh my god, I'm having to touch the brake to try and keep her. She doesn't want to go straight. Oh. oh there we go. There we go. Got her under control.
Engine speed. Now pull it back. 150. Yes, yeah, beautiful. We're in the air. Positive rate. Gear up. Oh, and the spotlights. <laughs> We're outside of the spotlights now. Brilliant. Up into the night sky. We're up, we're away, we're not forming up this time are we? So um, we're going to start making our way along our assigned route and uh, heading towards the uh, the target. So I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, while we've got a bit of time flying to target, I thought we'd start setting up the um, uh, the bomb site uh, just to give us as much time as possible. Um, so, uh, we'll, we might as well do that. So we're flying at 1500 meters, so we'll set the altitude to 1500. Um, we're doing 310. This isn't going to change much. We're going to... oops. There you go, three. Ah! There you go, three ten. Now, somebody uh, highlighted that I got the um, the wind direction wrong last time. So we're looking probably um, 1,500 meters, so between 1,000 and 2,000 meters. So the wind is coming from 335 to 339. Um, and we are flying uh, at... 75, just so, uh, I don't know, 70, yeah, 73 degrees, something like that. We're having, heading um, uh, east northeast. Uh, so the wind will be coming from 335, three, should we say. So 335 three, should be there. So we, we calculate the angle of degrees, this angle here. Um, so 335. Or three, three. Let's go 339 three, because it just makes it easier to calculate. Um, so it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93 degrees, 94 degrees, something like that. So we then put this wind 95 degrees, something like that, about there. Um, what's the speed? 13 to 16. So if we find a happy medium about there. I think that's right. So this should be set up now for us to... Um, we may need to tweak it if we change our speed or altitude slightly and obviously heading. But for the moment, um, that's set up reasonably well. We should get reasonable accuracy, I think, with that. So that's just something, a little correction from the last video. I hope I got that, this bit down here, right, the wind speed. Um, again, I, is it if it's between the... Um, the heights, I guess you just guesstimate it slightly. It's going to be between somewhere, aren't they? So, um, I don't know. That's my understanding, anyway. We'll go, we'll go with it this time, and I'm sure there'll be a few comments in the, uh, in the section below. Right, we're coming up to the target now. It's somewhere along, you see that white road going following the river? I think it's where the gun site is, that town there. So um, let's hop on the gun site. Uh, actually, before we do that, what I need to do is just set auto level flight. There we go. Has uh, that kept it? 310, 115, good. 
Right, so if we uh, set this to view, we can have a look forward and plan where we're going to bomb. So there's that road. So I think the target's about there. So if I... Um, oh, spotlights. Right, for some reason, this um, aircraft is not uh, working on the level flight, which is going to make it incredibly challenging. Right, let's get you level. Right. More or less. All right, lock in. Fly there. Be good. Right. Um, has anything altered too much? No, that looks all look good. Right. Um, so this is where we're going to be bombing. We want to come right a bit. Ah, oh, it's not coming right. Come on. It's going to be too late at this point. I might just have to fly it as well. Oh god, it's not very good. Oh, searchlights. Right. Bombay doors open. Level. Whoa. Did we just get hit by flak. Huge. I think that's the target there. We're probably wide. Oh, we're taking some flak hits. Let's get out of here. There's corkscrew. Oh god, I'm taking even more. Let's get down low and go. Uh, we're wider the mark, it would seem. But we're in a we're in a searchlight. Oh, no, the anti-aircraft fire has got us. Taking a bit of punishment. Still in the searchlight. Yeah, my um. Oh god, my level flight worked. I can't turn left very well. Um, level flight autopilot was working. However, um, it wouldn't change the course, which it should do. I tried the uh, shortcut keys and the actual dial on the. This is something I've missed. Let me know if there's something I've missed, but. Bombay doors close. With all that action and excitement, I didn't bother. There's a lot of wind whistling through the cockpit now. I think our engine is pretty knacked. It sounds like um, some nuts and bolts were rattling around in a tin can. Now, these aircraft. Yeah, I'm just looking at my number one engine's been shot up as well. Sounds a bit better. Uh, what's that airspeed? 
Airspeed's not too much of a problem. Handling is. Is that my artificial horizon? Brilliant. So first priority is get back over the river, get into friendly territory, uh, and then if we need to uh, put her down somewhere, then we can do. Now we've got some anti-aircraft fire here. Coming over the river, must be one of the bombers in front of us. God, we don't want to get their attention. We can see how devastating it was, though. As soon as we got locked up in that spot, our oh, engine two is rolling back. Let's get over the river. There's some anti-aircraft down there somewhere. I don't see another aircraft, but there's got to be one there. Right, we are losing speed and starting to descend now. I'm just going to put a, a bit of flap in. Hopefully it's not going to kill our speed too much. And what I might do is aim over these trees uh, and see if we can't. Um, we're not going to get too much further, so we need to find somewhere flat. She doesn't want to turn. Oh, we're bleeding off a lot of speed. We're going in. We are going in. Let's try and get over these trees. Let's get the wheels down, that's going to kill a lot of speed. Just clear these trees. I'll try and put it down, boys. I'll try and put it down. On max throttle. Oh! Oh! There goes our wheels spinning in front of us. We are down. I think we've just crossed the river, so we should be on friendly territory. We might be able to recover back to base. Crikey! And there we have it. Mission failed. The primary target was not destroyed. Uh, we had a forced landing, fortunately just, just on friendly territory. We were able to recover back to base. But after 34 minutes and 28 seconds, our flight came to an end abruptly as uh, our number two engine cut out with number one engine producing uh, down on power anyway. So no facilities were hit. Another failed attempt in our bombing mission. Okay, so here we are. The mission failed. Sven, our flight lead, he was injured. Um, he was able to destroy a vehicle, uh, two rail or station facilities, and a AAA gun as well. So our flight lead managed to hit the target. Uh, number two hit a, a AAA gun. Number three hit a AAA gun as well. We, of course, missed everything. We had a few issues with our um, autopilot, which was causing a few bits and bobs to go wrong but everyone else managed to hit an anti-aircraft gun if nothing else so that target is uh, a little bit lighter and softened up um, after the uh, AA or AAA guns have been removed but yes we need a new aircraft and I'm gonna have to practice on that autopilot because some, for some reason the level flight autopilot it kicked in but it wouldn't allow me to change course I should be able to adjust left and right um, but for whatever reason, that didn't allow that, which is uh, something I'm going to have to look at going forward. So, looking in the Unit HQ for our uh, for the squadron, obviously we've got Sven, who's injured. Uh, we are the rookie, and we are showing our uh, raw edges at the moment. Uh, but we are still alive. We've uh, completed two missions, one successfully. We've got two hours flight experience. And look at the hours of flight experience these guys have got. These are experienced hands. Look at that, 147 hours. 
to our mere two. We are definitely the new boy. We have 12 Heinkels ready to go next time. It would be lovely to actually get something on our tally. Um, so a little bit more bombing practice is required. For ourselves, nothing really to report. It's clear across the board. Nothing. We've got our pilot's badge, but we need to improve next time. And I'm sure the opportunities will come thick and fast as we are nearing um, the end of August. And we got on the near approaches, so we've got another campaign coming up. We're currently on the Advance of the Volga campaign. And it looks like we're going to be pressing on in a few days onto another campaign as well. So Josef will try his best to actually hit something next time. Things were going so well, and then it all went horribly wrong. Um, so a bit more practice, uh, and uh, hopefully we can actually get bring the aircraft home next time. Uh, sorry it's going to be a bit of a short video, but that's the way sometimes these missions go. It was a bit of a torment just to try and keep that thing in the air to get over the front line, which I think was the river at the end. So um, small mercies and all that. We're going to leave it there. Thanks ever so much for watching. I will get better, I promise. I'll practice, 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 and we'll try better next time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.